What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another unboxing video brought to you by Bearded Kajus and Boxer Reviews. You know, if you guys like the channel, hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, you know, share with anybody you think like the content of this channel. Also, hit the bell notification so you're notified right away when videos drop. Um, yeah, we are back again for another unboxing and review. Um, before we get into it, I just want to remind everybody um, at 650 subscribers, I'm doing my giveaway. So, and we are almost there. Um, we are so, so close. So thank you. Thank you for everybody who has recently joined uh, and everything. And it's just, uh, it's, I love it. I can't wait to give you guys the giveaway. Uh, I just love doing it and everything. And just, um, it just, it means the world to me and stuff like that. So, um, and I'm doing it just because I'm showing my love for you guys because you're showing it to me and everything. So, um, but yeah, we'll get there and then there's many more to go from there. So, uh, we'll just keep at it and everything and, uh, who knows, we'll see where this takes us. So, um, but yeah, today we have a amazing, amazing box day. Holy buckets. Um, this one, <laughs> this one I'm giddy for. I really, really am. Um, this is just amazing in every single way. So um, there is no box to look at or anything like that. Uh, so we don't have to go through that little spiel or anything. Um, but it's, it's, oh my gosh, it's, I don't really need a box to really do this thing justice because this thing is on another level all on its own. And I just absolutely was speechless and everything when I first First, uh, open up the box just to make sure everything was okay uh, and everything. And everything was, and I was so happy for it and everything and thankful. So, um, but a lot of respect and thank you goes out to the guy who shipped it to me and everything. He took the time and uh, <laughs> the extra time to really make this thing just as safe as possible and everything. And I just cannot thank him enough for everything. But I'll get to that uh, later on in the video about who this is from and everything and uh yeah we'll talk about a little bit about him and stuff like that so but yeah all right guys oh uh, man let's get into this thing and let's gush over it because i am ready oh my goodness uh but yeah let's go here, here it is guys oh my goodness here he is. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at how big this guy is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I cannot get over how big and beautiful he is. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was just, like I said, I was, I was blown away when I first opened this thing. And this was... I, I couldn't believe it. I, I really, really couldn't. And, oh, my goodness. I, I am so happy that I got it. I'm so happy that the person who made it for me uh, is a good friend of mine and everything. And I, I am just so proud of what he's done and everything and just so happy um, that I was able to get this and everything. So, um but yeah, let's let's just get right into this big boy. Obviously, you can see here this is a gigantic custom Titanosaurus resin model kit. <sighs> Holy cow. I I mean, look at this thing. He looks mwah, oh my goodness in every way shape or form. Just done a, a masterful job in every way. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, and, you know, this might look familiar and everything, um, but another good friend of mine uh, was able to get this even before I was uh, and everything. But uh, Leslie Chambers, he put this on his channel also and everything. And I was really dying to get mine uh, and everything because I – had ordered one um, or wanted one, you know, like Leslie did and stuff like that. So uh, I was one of the first few that really was on board for getting this, uh, just like Leslie um, and everything. So I, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And uh, unfortunately, uh, unforeseen crazy circumstance happened 
uh, and everything uh, for my official first one. So um, I had to wait a little bit longer, but uh, man, my, my man, he pulled through. So I just want to give a big thanks and a big shout out to the guy behind this uh, and everything, Marcellus Winters. Boy, man, you are, oh, you are something else. Whoo, doggy. Holy buckets, man. You you are coming along as one of the premier kit builders, painters. You know, I think that everybody um, in this fandom that you do, buddy, like you are just knocking out, out of the park. I mean, all your commissions, I mean, stuff that I've gotten from you, uh, it's just been on another level. It really is. And you just keep getting better uh, <laughs> every time you do uh, your kits and stuff like that. And you're always looking for new ways and better ways to, you know, hone your craft and figure out different styles and techniques and, you know, do your painting a little bit differently or more screen accurate or whatever. Like you're always looking to improve. And I just, I love that. And just, it's really showing in the stuff uh, that you've been doing. Like um, this is the second piece now that I have for, from Marcellus. Uh, and man, this is just gigantic uh, in proportions to what I got before and stuff like that. But man, alive, this is just amazing. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to uh, Kenny Kurtz, uh, who uh, helped uh, print this model kit and everything like that. Um, so he was kind of the one behind it and everything. And also, I would like to give a shout out to, to Miko Richardson. Uh, she was an angel because uh, if you see all these little dots and spots all over his body, uh, that was her. Uh, she took the time and painted individually painted every single little spot that this bad boy has and this bad boy has a lot so uh thank you to everybody who had a hand in making this uh oh my goodness this gigantic uh model kit uh and everything like that so um i it really really is just amazing and all of you are just <laughs> incredible human beings uh, and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh, I cannot explain how excited I am for this thing. So yeah, so thank you to everybody. Um, Marcellus approached me kind of about this guy and everything and saying that, you know, he kind of wanted to do, you know, something uh, about getting uh, possibly a gigantic figure, you know, and stuff like that. And um, he had you know been working on something with Leslie and everything. And he's like, well, I kind of want to let you know and stuff. So I was like, all right, cool. And he's like, yeah, we're thinking about making a gigantic titanosaurus. Would you be interested? And I was like, hell yeah, it would be like, if anybody knows, if anybody's seen my channel, uh, knows my videos, knows me, uh, besides Godzilla, my favorite kaiju is titanosaurus. Uh, so, I mean, I am an adamant collector of titanosaurus and everything titanosaurus. So uh, I'm looking for all that kind of stuff. So when he said that, I was like, oh, I'm so on board. So um so yeah, they started started working out the design and everything like that, and you know I'm 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 proud to say that I had a, just just a little little bit of uh, input in the design and stuff like that to help make this thing as awesome as it really is and make it um, look you know really like Titanosaurus in every aspect you know every little detail uh, and everything like that you know and um, you know like I said it, as small as it is you know I I had input in helping create this so that means a lot to me um just because um, it's my favorite uh kaiju and you know this thing is as massive as as it is and everything um i i got to help kind of create it and everything like that but making sure all the proportions were right and everything so i mean like i said very small but i'll take it you know <laughs> so that's really special to me so this just means that you know uh, has a very special place in my heart now and everything. And of course, you know, it had friends of mine um, backing it and working on it and then um, completely uh, designing it and painting it and building it for me and getting it to me. So um, it's really, really awesome. First one that was um, ever printed and released was um, at G Fest this last year, 2023. Uh, there was a um, fellow collector, especially model collector, uh, call his name is John Brindley, and uh, he had uh, wanted to get the Titanosaurus kit for him. Um, so he did, he got it, he built it, he painted it, and he actually um, put it together, brought it to GFS, and actually gifted it to 
JD Lees, um, who runs uh, G Fest, um, or did I should say, um, he retired from it uh, the year prior and stuff like that. So, um, but his daughter is running it now and everything and stuff like that. So, uh, it was a gift to, for him, so everybody can kind of see um, firsthand what this thing looked like and stuff uh, and everything. So that was really really cool. And, um, I was like, holy cow, like, that's exactly what I want and, and everything. And I had to wait a little bit longer and everything. Like I said, uh, unforeseen circumstances happen, crazy stuff, uh, and everything. And it just kind of delayed it and, it, you know, nothing against, uh, Marcellus and everything. It's just, you know, something crazy happened and, um, yeah, it's just nothing you could really do. So, uh, he had to basically make me another one. So he had to get another one printed and then build it and paint it and get everything done and stuff like that, you know. And of course, you know, he's very busy. Uh, the other people are very busy. So it just took some time, but it's finally here. It's home, uh, forever home, really. Uh, this thing is just amazing. And this is the biggest Titanosaurus collectible out there. Nothing even comes close to it. Well, maybe the, the Monster Maker 28 model kit comes close to it. Uh, but that's only like a 40 centimeter figure. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> I will show you uh, comparisons uh, a little bit later in the video and stuff. But uh, yeah, just a kind of crazy uh, way of getting this and where we've come to and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, it's just really, really awesome. Uh, as you can see, just everything about this thing is just very accurate um, down to the paint. Oh, man. The one thing that I really love is a paint job like Marcellus just, oh my goodness gracious, dude. Like he, he is so talented at painting and stuff and God Lord, like look at, I mean, the shading and the accents of the chest and his abdomen and everything like that. And then just like the colors of the stripes going, you know, down his legs and across his body. Like, oh man, I just love this. And honestly, this is, to me, this is almost more of like a uh, nighttime look you know where it's a little bit darker uh paint scheme to them it's not as bright especially um compared to like the 30 centimeter titanosaurus was a lot brighter a lot more red and everything like that um so um, and i'm okay with it like i i really like this darker like this reminds me of the 25 centimeter titanosaurus um where the paint job is a lot darker uh, almost like nighttime um ish kind of style um, but yeah you can just see the blending the the transition to the colors from yellow to orange to red. I mean, oh my goodness gracious. You can see the big old tail and the fan that's open. Oh my Lord. And like I said, uh, Tomiko Richardson, look at, I mean, look at all these dots. These are ridiculous. Like, oh, like I said, an angel getting all these things painted individually and stuff. So, oh my goodness gracious. But yeah, the attention to detail, everything. I mean, this is a very well uh, printed kit and stuff like that which uh, i was i was kind of hesitant in getting it printed and stuff like that because let's be honest we haven't hit um probably the detail we want in kits and stuff like that for 3d printing yet um a lot of stuff is printed like in the vinyl uh, more plastic type ish um but the more detailed things are getting used in resin and stuff like that which you will get more detail more um, those little crisp, little, um, little finer uh, things that, you know, that really do a lot, you know, for uh, said character and stuff like that. Um, it's just, it's cool. So this, this just proves that, you know, we are seeing an improvement uh, in that way where, you know, maybe this could be the future of kit making and stuff like that, where someone makes a 3D render and then they just print it and you're done, you know, kind of thing, instead of going through the whole process of casting uh, and everything like that and having to cast all the models and stuff like that. So, you know, who knows? Like, uh, we're not, I don't think we're there yet. And I think a lot of uh, kit builders and stuff like that will agree with me. Um, but, you know, I think we're getting close, honestly. Um, but yeah, just everything about this. I mean, the, the tongue is really, really cool. Uh, the eyes are great. Uh, even the paint across his face down, his eyes. I mean, that's just amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, the antennas are done. I mean, just, oh man. So yeah, this thing just came out just beautifully. Uh, it does stand by itself. Uh, I am kind of holding it just because it's on my mat. So it kind of wants to tip a little bit, but it does stand 
uh, by itself on a flat surface, but I think I'm going to be using, you know, a handy dandy tail stand um, just to make sure it does not uh, <laughs> fall or anything because, the, like I said, this is resin, but it is hollow resin. So it's heavy, but it's not like super like solid and stuff like that. So uh, they're, you know, it's it's not heavy, heavy, but it's heavy. <laughs> you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you get that reference, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, uh, so he shipped this to me with the antennas off, the tail off, had to glue those both on, not a big deal. Uh, like I said, he packed it um, like this thing was the lost arc, you know, like this thing was just in mounds and mounds of bubble wrap and paper and just everything and it was in a box and a box um yeah it was protected really really well so thank you marcellus dude you you packed this thing beautifully and i just oh man i can't thank you enough and just the overall presence and look of this thing is just amazing uh it's hard to get everything uh in the frame and whatnot so hopefully everybody can kind of have a very good look at everything but uh let's do a couple size comparisons and let's get a close look and compare him to a couple other gigantic brothers that he has. All right, guys. So <laughs> here's the first size comparison. Of course, I had to go with his <laughs> his other terrible partner, Mecha Godzilla. And I know this isn't the 75 Mecha Godzilla, it's the 74, but you know, it's basically the same thing, except for a little bit of design and and colors and stuff like that. But you get the point, you know. Uh, it's just cool that you can basically have both of these guys from Terra Mecha Godzilla side by side with each other, and they scale beautifully with each other. I mean, Titanosaurus is still towering over him uh, like it should be, but uh, Mecha Godzilla is still no slouch himself. Uh, he was actually even bigger than Godzilla in the film um, by just a hair. Um, so you could just imagine how big Godzilla would be, but man alive, this would be just amazing. If somebody were to make a gigantic Godzilla 75, oh my goodness, please make that happen because that is my all-time favorite suit. So this would go perfect with it and everything. But oh man, just this setup is just going to be awesome when they're by each other. Oh man, oh this is just amazing, amazing. So uh, cannot wait to display them side by side like this. So, but. But yeah, we'll do one more size comparison and we'll we'll get a Godzilla in here that's uh, rather beefy himself and everything and then see how Titanosaurus stacks up against him. <laughs> Look at this. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, guys. So I had to throw in one of the bigger Godzillas and this is the Spiral Studios GMK. And like I said, he ain't no slouch himself. He is way up here, but my boy still has him with the edge with his frill on top and everything. But I mean, you can see just how massive this thing is. Uh, this Godzilla is 52 centimeters tall. So he is a big, big boy. Um, I think he's tied with the X plus Godzilla 89 for how tall they are. And Titanosaurus beats even him. So uh, just kind of shows you how exactly big uh, he is. I'd say Titanosaurus is probably 55, I'd say, uh, to the top of his frill. Now, I know it's, you know, a little bit of a disadvantage, but uh, uh, I mean, it's it still counts. So, but uh, yeah, you can just see how big these guys are. And they just look so great. So like I said, uh, man, if we could have a gigantic 75 Godzilla, that'd be amazing. But um, yeah, these, these things just, it looks so good. And honestly, I think this GMK weighs more than this Titanosaurus, honestly, with the kind of vinyl that they use. It's it's a beefy boy. It really, really is. But uh, yeah, just kind of want to give you guys a cool size comparison of a, of a Godzilla adversary that maybe, you know, these two could fight maybe one day. Who knows? But I doubt it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. And we're back. Um yeah, so that was the size comparison of how big this guy is. Like I said, he is no slouch. Uh, he stacks up with even the best of them and everything like that. And he just looks so good with them and everything. And I just, oh, man, it's going to be so great to put them uh, next to the other Gigantics and everything. And just, he's just going to look right at home. He really is. So I just love, you know, the way this whole Titanosaurus looks like. I really, 
like the pose with the arms, you know, kind of offset and everything, not the static, you know, same uh, uh, length and the same uh, kind of stance, kind of your typical and the same area and level and stuff like that, where it doesn't, you know, look too uh, pleasing and everything. Um, you know, Titan Storrs just kind of stood up right a lot and stuff like that. And, you know, unless he was fighting and, and whatnot, but uh, I just, I love this, everything about it. Like I said, even the paint app oh my god the paint is just i can't get over that honestly it's so beautiful but yeah it's it's great i, I can't wait to have this in the titanosaurus collection and like i said the biggest titanosaurus collectible i have and even out there in general um i know that marcellus might um do some more in the future i think he kind of put a pause on these so if you are interested uh you'll have to hit him up i know he has uh, he has a huge backlog right now, um, so right now might not be the time that he could fit uh, anybody in with new commissions and stuff like that, um, but uh, I would say in the near future, you know, hit him up if you guys are interested in getting one of these done. Um, he's definitely the man for the job because obviously you can see, I mean, his work speaks volumes, honestly, because it it is just amazing. So yeah, just Hit him up if you want, you know, this kit done, or he has done a gigantic Jet Jaguar that was also on Leslie's YouTube channel and everything. We did a review of that uh, and everything, so um, check that out if you want to see that. I definitely am not not getting that. I'm not a huge Jet Jaguar fan, um, but it's still cool that they can give us these things that we haven't gotten and maybe we'll never get, you know, in the gigantic form. So maybe if there's a particular figure you know that somebody wants to remember you never know you know you know sky's the limit honestly to think about these things and if you have a 3d printer you know who knows what you could do with it and stuff like that um i know a lot of people are not big into that kind of stuff and they want the auth authenticity and the you know the the real legit stuff you know that's sold uh and licensed and stuff like that uh, i get it i really do but just sometimes you just gotta take it upon yourself to get what you really really want even if you think, you know, um, one day maybe it will, but may one may, maybe it won't, you know, honestly. So you just kind of have to do what you got to do to get what you want, really. And um, I just think that's kind of what we did and what I wanted and stuff like that. And, you know, I know Marcellus and Leslie are huge Titanosaurus fans, too. I know Marcellus is because I think that's his favorite movie is Terra Mecha Godzilla, just like mine. Uh, so I think that's why we mesh so well, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's super great. So yeah, hit up uh, Marcellus, maybe in the near future. Like I said, he's pretty backlogged now, but oh man, his, his, his work is so well done. I mean, you've seen stuff on Leslie's channel and everything. He's done a bunch of kits for him. Like I said, this is my second one from Marcellus. So I'm happy. I have other kits um, with Marcellus right now that I, I think he's currently working on. I think. Uh, and everything. I don't know exactly which ones he's working on right now. I know he starts a whole bunch of them at once because uh, there's different stages and stuff like that that he can do this stuff. So, um, so yeah, who knows? But yeah, obviously when those come in, I will show those off to you guys and everything. And just oh, I cannot wait to see those because there's there's some bangers in there that I can't not wait to see what Marcellus does and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, I think that is it for me. Thank you, a gigantic thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this huge huge titanosaurus oh my gosh because i did because oh man i was so giddy and still am uh when i first saw it, this thing because this thing is just beautiful and man i cannot wait to to put it in the collection so uh, i am just <laughs> ecstatic so but yeah um like i said that's it for me thanks for watching reminder like comment and subscribe to the channel 650 subscribers i'm doing my giveaway so um please keep doing that and also uh if you guys want more fun you know more kaiju uh goodness and everything head over to monsters with attitudes facebook group or the youtube channel uh you can watch our monthly streams on the youtube channel and we also stream it in our group and then just join the group and have some fun uh we are doing a poll for figure of the year uh we have completely a whole bunch of different categories and stuff like that uh from model kits to Safubi to uh, like X plus type uh, realistic or uh, stuff under 50 or the overall uh, best figure of the year, uh, one sprinkled from all of them or the best company or uh, the biggest gigantic, you know, kind of thing. 
Um, this doesn't, didn't, didn't make the cut just because there's only a few of them, but, um, but yeah, so yeah, head over there and join and I cast your vote. Cause I mean, that's the only way you're going to know and uh, try to get your favorite figure to win, you know, figure of the year and stuff like that. We'll have a, a result show uh, towards the end of the month. So, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it until next time later.